much just wondering whether we could actually invite Steve up now to, to yeah. do his, uh, he's got a short presentation, but Steve's sort of starting to take some of this thinking forward as mm. around, okay. you know, what, what next. And so, Salomon, if you can stay up yeah. there, and yeah. then we'll have some more discussion after that, if that's... Um... Okay. Very cheeky fellow. He's a Māori fellow out of Pacific Whanau, getting up here. We uh, at, at our Central Cancer Network, basically, we're at the, the, our, our small team, and we have a focus and we have a passion for, for, um, for, for Pacific Health uh, to increase its own. So I'm um, your proxy at the moment, and I was really, really uh, fortunate um, for us to be a part and to support some of the ideas from your Pacific leaders. Um, I'd like to mention uh, Taima and uh, Saloma. They, they started to get the ball going. And, and so this wasn't an initiative from us. This was uh, us supporting the ideas. And um, in um, so, so I'll just get uh, cracking. And basically, what I want to just uh, discuss is, uh, is, this, is this information flow. Um, um, and you just mentioned in about, in about about this collaboration. This is this will, this will hopefully tie up our our projects in which we've been doing in um, in our uh, in the four today. Justin, to recap about Central Cancer Network, uh, th this is the area we cover. We co cover from Tairawhiti across the Taranaki down to Wellington. So we cover all of those eight DHBs. We sit in a, a unique space and we were not DHB, we're not NGO. So we we have the ability to move across the whole cancer continuum to work with everybody. So so we're not um, a, a gatekeeper like, like some organisations are, um, are, 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 may may be perceived to be. So we so we work across all of these areas. Now, um, now um, just a little uh, snapshot, it's that 18% of the population, New Zealand population, is made up of uh, Pacific. This, and this, this uh, data, um, and it comes from, from a report and we've, uh, the CCN commissioned a couple of years ago, you can find this on our website, and also uh, some other, um, other information from the, uh, from the, uh, uh, from uh, Malalanga, so this is taken from the, uh, so um, breaking it all down, and by 2021, Pacific is a population that's increasing, so it's so it's going to increase to 420,000. At the moment, it's 265,000. So you know, future planning we're talking about, but looking into the future, not into the into the into the current state. And in the central region, we have 48,000 Pacific living in this area. And that's going to increase to 76,000. 67% of all Pacifica live, live um, well, they, they reside in Auckland and the rest are, 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 are scattered uh, throughout. And uh, in the central region, uh, most are in, uh, in Capital Coast, they in the uh, Hutt Valley, DSB areas. And the remaining 42% are scattered and across the other districts. And that's, and that's basically what I want to to address. So like just to give you a little snapshot of, uh, of uh, CCDHB, really, really quickly, there's uh, seven Pacific specific health providers and there's, and there's a myriad of uh, community organisations. In the HUT DHB, there's seven specific Pacific health providers and then uh, once again, a myriad of community uh, groups. The Palmerston North, there's 0 0.2 FTE and no identified um, community Pacific organisation. In uh, Hawke's Bay, there are four Pacific community organisations that I'm identified in this report and no Pacific specific service. In Wairarapa, there is zero and zero identified. This is, this is apart from Pacific churches. Uh, Wanganui, we have uh, there are two Pacific community groups. And we've got one functioning now at the moment who uh, presented their, their uh, awesome work which they've been doing. And in New Plymouth, we have one, and that's represented by these, by these, uh, by these um, two young men here from Taranaki. Um, so basically, um, in, in the Tairawhiti, there's zero. So that gives you a snapshot of our region and about where everybody is. See, see that's our map. And so we can identify and to see where all our strengths are where all these services are and where we are scattered in other areas. See, these are the, uh, those, uh, those districts and without those services, and then we also have 
Hutt Valley and CCDHB with a, with a, with a lot of those Pacific specific organisations and services. So our task, if you choose to embark on it, and I know you can, is to um, is to imagine how can we link all of these together with the haves, which seem to be down south, with the have-nots because they're scattered and the population is sparse in different areas. So, so how do we connect them up? Well, and we've actually okay, 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 uh, okay. So there are ways in which we can connect it up. If you're chucking another obstacle into it, how can you connect it up with no money? <laughs> Do I see any hands come up there? Any solutions? Well, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. Why can't we have um, sort of games in the day for the, the whole family? Yeah. Okay? Games in the day, maybe sevens or volleyball or whatever. Yep. Have cultural dances in the evening yep. and have a kai at the end. Yep. We meet Central, maybe over here. We're going to host this for the money. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> he got the best. How about that? <laughs> Oh, it's on the table, sure. Yeah, well, well, um, and that's a great idea. And, and the thing about it, in which we identified in our men's workshop, is that there's some really, really good work happening in each of those areas, even though they're sparse. Up at Taranaki, and they've, um, and they've formed a trust recently. They started a volleyball club, and uh, and oh, it's over here, sure, sorry. And uh, so there's a lot of activity happening there in Wanganui, exactly the same thing. So, so maybe because things are happening all over the place. Um, but we're unaware of it. Yeah. So like some of our thinking is, if we're able to highlight the work that's been done in Wanganui, Taranaki, um, Hawke's Bay, and across all of the other areas, and to link them all up yeah. with the information. Um, okay, I'll just... Uh, okay, this is... This is oh. Yeah, and you well, and that's actually in why we, uh, um, why the organising uh, committee chose Palmerston North into into host us, and because it was halfway point for everybody to come to, it just seemed to be easy. Even though the greater population is down south, the need seemed to be to make it central and to have those from south to come up, and we're, and we're grateful to have them because because then that's where uh, um, a lot of the access as far as the mahi goes and in activity is from the south, and so if we can bring them up into, for everybody to feed into. But, um, and, so, and so Central Cancer Network, um, that we've been acting as a pseudo um, place and to, and, to, and to make that happen. Um, and that's why this is the very first regional, central region whunau uh, in any health setting that I remember. And this is just an excuse to bring everybody back in, and it's up to Pacific here, not the Māori boy, or, or and, and we ask Joe or ask any of our team and to, and to say, yes, yes, we should have another one. It's up to um, the, those, those from the Pacific communities and the, and the providers here, here to move into that. And, but and, but and that's a really good, good, good um, whakaaro, Salivi. Hi, I'm from Levan, and we have a newly formed Fale Pacifica Horofanua group, community group. We'll be trying to connect with our, community, our Pacific community. Um, last Saturday we had a um, unofficial smoke-free volleyball tournament. Yes, that's right. That's and huge. then the week before that we hosted. We took out the we um, hired the whole theatre out and showed the orator at a uh, cheaper rate. Mm. So we're trying to connect there with our Pacific community. I've put an yeah. application form with charities commission. So we are slowly getting out there, but yeah, yeah. it's uh, slow work, but we're getting yeah. there. Yeah. See, see, that's another great example of something happening in rural area that's local, and only those from Levin knew about it. Whereas, if there was another um, um, another community somewhere else, similar makeup, they could just copy and what had happened there, it had worked. So, if that template, that evaluation is is, is put into central place, and where we can say, hey, this that's similar to us, we could do the same thing here, and uh, and so yeah, that's in the kind of kind of kind of connection for Lolly. Um. I just want to add to what Melinda's said. I know that um, Steve's map looks like, um, makes us look like we're doing nothing over here at Mid Central, but we are working in um, silos. Um, 0.2 FTE that you showed up there, I don't think we know where that sits, yeah. but we 
have a new service within the PHOs. We actually, um, most of our work is done within mainstream um, here for Pacific people within the mid-central region. And the One Heart Many Lives, we actually link in with the Māori, um, Māori Pacific um, Pharmac organisation that we have here at the PHO. Okay. We're doing a lot of work as well across the region, Tarudua, Horofanua, Otaki and Manawatu. Yeah. Um, we also um, have a new service within the PHO. Me and Lupe have split up one FTE, a nursing FTE. Um, to actually deliver the service to uh, Pacific people across the region, from Tararua to Otaki. Mm. Um, there's a talk at the moment about a mental health, 0.5 FTE for Pacific people. Mm. That's going to roll out to the primary health care as well. So those are new services, uh, but watch the space. We're coming up. So yeah, uh, Thank you. And, that's, and that's a really, really awesome point for Lulu, is, is just watch the space because it's all about timing and opportunity. And like, I, and like I pointed out, there's lots of activity happening all over the place, and um, and the data which I drew from was two years old, and so there are other opportunities through PHOs and through those uh, Pacific working and mainstream, and to, and, and to try and make something happen and to connect the dots. So there's uh, so there's some um, so there's some really good things. Um, so like and for us, we were um, some of the uh, suggestion is that this is actually the start of the Central Region Pacific Network, and. And if you take um, myself away from it, Joe away from it, then we will all, and CCM will always be here to tow talk and to support, but it's up to the Pacific leaders and each, and each of the Pacific people in those different areas and to actually form this uh, network. And we've started it with, with, uh, with this planning and organising uh, committee. We've got a uh, Falole from here, we've got uh, Saloma, we have Taima, we have uh, Sveta. Oh, yeah. Silo and Sharon. Yeah, Sharon, uh, Silo, uh, Barry, uh, Rangi, and so we're just starting, starting in the uh, very, very core of it, in to organise this uh, funnel to bring everyone together. So, so it's early days, but 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 there's still opportunity. So and can I just note with this too that we are talking about a, a Pacific Health Network that we don't want that we don't. I suppose we're not looking for just a, a just cancer cancer. theme through yeah. this. That is the as CCM we can facilitate this but we don't want it just to be a cancer. Mm. And are yeah. people in agreement with that? It needs to be yep. health? Great. Yep, yeah, that's right. It needs to be the wider um, the uh, wider field of health. And like what was uh, mentioned earlier, uh, is that uh, all those CVD uh, interventions are the same as cancer. So so it is wider. And so like hopefully next time there'll be um, diabetes here and other things in the focus. Sorry, Anthony. I think probably from an information sharing perspective to start with, um, and I think you know networks like this, that's where they tend to start with. They tend to start as an information sharing network, and then build momentum from there. So I think, you know, I think today is a bit about starting us on that journey. And so I think if if you're plugged into that information sharing, then who knows what opportunities might arise out of that. Yeah, the reason why I'm asking the question, because we do uh, activity voluntarily. And when we do activity in Wellington, Christchurch, and the need is thousands of people turn out to our activity. So to me, I'm hoping for to encourage other organizations that they are not health organizations out there to be part of this group. And what are the benefits? Is there a newsletter there that you can be promoting our activity? What are the things that you can do for us? So within the website, we're hoping that we'll be able to plug a lot of that information in so that you'll be able to, there'll be links on there back to your particular organisations. Um, we can have a, a calendar of events that are coming up around the different regions so people can sort of see who the contact people are to go and actually have a look at these. Hopefully when you've done some evaluations of these events too, we can put those reports on the websites. So I think um, it's about starting to, to build that that, um, that knowledge base really around what does work and what does work well and I think it was your challenge before it was around you know let's fund things that are, are actually working well no matter who the organisation is that's doing it mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, So um, Jay mentioned the uh, website Central Cancer Network have a, uh, have a website that's quite in depth if you google Pacific and cancer 
uh, number one, and will be CCN website, and there you and you find all the information uh, um, um, relating to to this work. We want to expand on that and to and to highlight all the good work happening in each of those areas, and to have uh, more of a more of a uh, network going. Although we can't physically all come together, at least that we can through the through the um, um, through the website. Just um, remember that your lanyards have our email address on them. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, website address. Yeah, yeah there's here right there if you're looking for it. <laughs> and and then perhaps once once the um, uh, this grows after the information, and then and there could be a standalone website which could link to to the, all the various community trusts within within the um, CCN area. Um, for activity, just like uh, even like men's health, if you're looking at men's health, click on what's happening up at Taranaki. You can have a little uh, update on what's happening there. Click over in uh, Hawke's Bay, exactly what's happening there. And you can download the presentations, the evaluations, and uh, how they ran it would be great. Receiving things in like a central uh, region uh, newsletter, just into like an, um, um, we have everybody's email address and um, through the RSVP, but if uh, but if you haven't given that, you can just leave it with us, and we'll just uh, make sure that you're that you're connected. Up. And the regional phone, or this being the very first one, and it's up to you really in the evaluation, which we're going to send out in a week's time, um, whether whether there's going to be a follow up one. Also, the uh, Pacific Radio Project was a uh, was a was a really useful way to connect everybody in, um, like. And like for example, I'll just walk you through this one. And this, this, the radio project kind of was the was the start of this funnel, and uh, and it was started over here with these with these lead advisors. They were they were Pacific. It didn't come from myself. Didn't come from Joe or, or Stephanie, or from Shirley, and that. And they were from the uh, from the leaders in the in the um, Pacific House, and then um, and also uh, my old my old colleague over here. Uh, Malia, um, she does some really awesome health promotion work on Pacific Radio, and from that, from that project, in which she done about three years ago, say three years ago, that it got evaluated, and it got evaluated so well that that gave us the evidence that that the way to communicate is through Pacific Radio. So, and because of because of your mahi, we were able to like implement this pretty quick. What we done is we brought Holuna and uh, Afamasanga in, who are part of our catalyst. Um, Pacific Radio, and we said, okay, okay, we have a little bit of funding. Um, um, how do we get all the messages of, of uh, cancer across? And in our corridor, and we found out in that, and their, and their radio coverage actually went all the way up, up north and all the way down to Christchurch, and during the earthquake, they used their frequency and to, and to communicate with all of those people down at Christchurch, and that's how far their broadcast went. But the messages were only targeted within a hut in Wellington area. So... So we saw this as an opportunity to just spread out and across all of the districts over here, um, because you know it seemed to be like a waste of radio waves and really good messages. And then what we wanted them to do was to link in and the point person a hey, lead from each of these DHBs, and say that Afa Masanga and can call you up. Say, hey, hey, what's happening up in Hawke's Bay? And then you can have the call it, or if there's a funnel happening up there, or else any really good men's activities, or or else a or else a touch football event, and then. And then up on my and we'll be able to to contact you. And then with this, and we could have formed the uh, this this the specific network in the central region. Um, yep, and that's basically the the um, the start of the Pacific Radio project and uh, how we've taken something that already worked, didn't have to reinvent the wheel, but we use that as evidence to make it happen. And within the very very start of it, within two months, it was on air, and um, in. Like what had happened is we gave them the messages and because they're radio people, they turned them into jingles and the jingles were really cool and we wanted to hear them before they went to air. And it's a good thing we did because some of the information wasn't correct. So as part of it and we uh, formed, the, or as, as we did inform it, um, Saloma, they, uh, uh, we uh, formed a, a clinical advisory group. So those jingles went back to the advisory group to make sure that that information was correct and then it got played on air. So they were cool little jingles, you know, because sometimes it's the, it's the emotions and the things that you hear, you know, the beat and sound that you kind of remember. And so, so it's part of it. And they created all this wonderful thing because they're radio people, they're creative. 
where sometimes, you know, we get stuck in our rut. But so so I mean, that's in the example of, of, of this possibility if we can just use them what's there um, to, to build on this momentum. It's all about that timing and opportunity. Are there any questions? And while I'm here, I also want to acknowledge you, everybody in that in that in the making effort to come here. And I know uh, some of those are from from down in Hutton, Wellington, and we and we and we had up with events down there. And um, but also um, Dr. Samisi, and Dr. Samisi uh, postponed all of the surgeries for today so that so that, so that he could be here. Um, as, soon as, as soon as he found out this was on, he made it a priority to be here. So some of my old colleagues, I need to have a little word with them because this is an opportunity where we can make things happen by coming together as a collective. Um, so, so, I, so I just want to acknowledge everyone and for your total for your support, um, um, for Lolly and for, and for, you know, she's our, she's our point person here in Palmerston North. Um, are there any questions? Hey, um, thank you, Steve. Um, Steve is our Steve and Joel are our um, um, honorary Pacific, <laughs> our honorary Pacific people. <laughs> 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 The, the team, the Pacific team at CCN. <laughs> but I want to take this opportunity to thank Joel and Steve and the team from um, the Central Cancer Network um, and the steering group, of course. Um, Fololi had to be pulled uh, yelling and screaming in, uh, as well as Lupe and the other, and uh, Silo and the others. So what I'm saying is, if you want to be part of the organizing group of Pacifica Health Workforce, please send me your emails and then I can contact you when I'm looking for people to be involved in that and that and that across the region. Because I'm telling you, more and more, there'll be more regional work now uh, going forward. Um, I also want to acknowledge our um, new um, found doctor, um, Dr. Siemisi. Um, love to meet you. It's nice to meet you at last. Because um, there's not many of our Pacific doctors around. And BJ is the other person that should have been here today. Um, so tell him whoever whispers in his ear that I said he should have been here today. Um, but um, all those people uh, we need to value and support because um, of the hard and the large workloads um, that they have. Um, same as ours, but ours is not that bad. Um, but thank you um, for... Um, and, um, and then I would like to thank everyone, uh, all the Pacific... Uh, workforce as well as our non-Pacific workforce who I believe um, are trying their best to support us through the work that they do. One of our oh, Joe cultural, <laughs> the cultural <laughs> aspect of care, that's the other area that we want to incorporate into the work that we do. So that everyone that looks, anyone that looks after Pacific is aware of those things. But we want to make it, don't we want it to make nice, make it nice and easy so that it doesn't turn people off. Simple. Exactly. Uh, you know, those are the things, things like respect and acknowledge your differences. Um, those are the things that I would like to see. Not hard and fast cultural <laughs> things that, um, you know, make people say, oh, I don't want to look after him in case I touch his head or, you know, those little things. So thank you very much. Um, and 
one more thing. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, just in closing, um, and I just want to invite uh, Tavita up and to do our closing, and now our, our Reverend had to leave, but, uh, but in this room we have, uh, have a wealth of uh, skill and experience, and, uh, and uh, Tavita is, uh, is a legend from way back, rugby league days, rugby days, uh, mentor uh, for, uh, for youth and also for, uh, for the Crusaders and, and other, other teams, but, uh, but I put him on the spot. And ask him if he can just give us some, some, some closing remarks of inspiration to tie us in, to unite us, to move forward, and to uh, also give our closing curriculum uh, to me. Under the seat? 
because I have to stand here and look out here. That's enough motivation that I need. So thank you. So, focus the power of words and focus on what you can do. And with that, who's supposed to do this, You. So we're supposed to end with a prayer? Yeah. Okay. So, those are my only thoughts for you. Still thinking. What time do we have to go, right? Three o'clock. Now? Okay. <laughs> So in closing, I'd like to thank all of you for your participation. I'd like to thank you for the welcome that all of us have had to all of you out front here. Thank you. And I guess I'd better close with the group. Now, because I can't speak Samoan, but I can call it a Maori, so it's going to be a Maori. Now, thank you very much. Kia kia ケタオケタオカトケタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオタオオ